can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. No trespassing? No way. Holy shit. This place is awesome. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Some say the world will end in fire. Now what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. God, again? What do you want, kid? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Aww. Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're... You're not accepting no for an answer. Are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! <laughs> Shit! Hey, Delia! Come! Cute dog. <laughs> 
Just follow the lights and the sound. Don't mess with Damon. Thanks for the memo. Yo, Frank. Hey. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. Okay, so, you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Never mind, then. Uh, suit yourself. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis when I can. What are you looking at? Here we go. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Fuck off, man. Hey, you don't know who I am, do you? No. And I give zero shits. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. That dog is fierce. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Believe it. You spilled my beer, bitch! You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty, 
It won't. She thinks she can take you? Hey, dickhead. Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen! Calm down! <laughs> Come on, man! Walk away! Screw this! This is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise, right? Chloe, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. 
No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom don't fail me now. Everything's worth a shot. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Ah, Mom! It's bad enough that David comes here for dinner. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. 
I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? that everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced her father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. 
Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. That's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this. If you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. What the f- how you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean... Sorry, what has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Your fake-ass concern can eat a dick. And so can you. In the army, that kind of talk would get you assigned to KP duty for a month. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? Because for the record, I do not consent. Look, now, in this house, I have my job to do, and so do you. Have you considered telecommuting? I feel like you could keep us safer from Florida. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished.
country music. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... this isn't right. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? 
Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden... You're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. 
No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. <laughs> that actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Just keeping it real. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. 
Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. The thing's heavier than it looks. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. I is this... Nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here, so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <sighs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on.
I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so... Nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. He was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. 
You told one truth and two lies. Maybe I just needed to test you. Or maybe you have trust issues. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit, but I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen?